Hey everybody, um, I'm going to be doing a look today, it's a request, um, for one of my subscribers, she didn't really want to say, <coughs> me to say who she was, she's shy, so, um, my son's right here, but <laughs> he's not going to get in frame, so it's okay, so I'm starting with Groundworks, paint pot, and normally I do this ahead, but this looks not that difficult, so, I figured I could pro probably do one eye in the nine, in ten minutes. And actually, oh lord, there's going to be a lot of noise because he's playing with, um, underneath my makeup I have like my hair products place. So he's like throwing the jars back in the jaw, whatever. Okay. I'm going to put a little extra on the lid. Okay. <coughs> no, but let me put them down here. Here, get them from down there. Okay. Then I'm going to put... This is not going to work. Then I'm going to... Um, Okay, what I started with, I used this whole, I used this palette. I'm going to do Ginger Soft with a small brush, okay? I'm going to take that in the inner corner. I guess I could use this mirror, inner corner. And then up and around. Then take 217 into Ginger Soft and Satin Tote. Satin Tote. and do the whole like highlight and crease color. I did this on the picture that um, she suggested and this is really how light the highlight was which, oh lord, which I wasn't too I wasn't too crazy about but I wanted to keep it you know what I did? Forgot to wipe off the brush. Okay. Look at this eye. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna take the small crease brush because I'm gonna really keep it just on the lid. These colors. See how it is here? Okay. Then I'm starting with cinders, just the blue color. Um, this a little bit reminds me of um, if you did like tilt and contrast. I think if you mix them together. It might form a color like this, or um, Urban Decay. Urban Decay had a color called UV dash B or something, like UVB. Yeah, that's not something you want to put in your mouth, Bums. I have some news, but I'm not going to announce it now. Um, I'm going to announce it. Uh, well, not the video. Maybe tomorrow. Um, and then also, I'm going to Target, I guess I'll wear this look to Target, I'm going to Target to get, I thought I, I was going to try and recycle, because I recycle, like, when I do a lot of, um, swapping, um, uh, makeup swapping, so, and now I'm going to take, sorry, I'm going to take this color, Tease and Teal. I don't know if it's a regular color. If you have teal pigment, that would work perfectly. And I'm going to go in the outer corner here. So, um, I have to go to Target to get mailers to mail out the contest prizes. And you guys have been so patient. Thank you. And I'm still waiting on one, one winner's address. I was hoping to send them all at the same time, but she hasn't sent me her address, so Sylvia, if you're there, if you're still watching, I hope everything's okay, um, but I haven't, um, I haven't seen any comments by her, and I haven't really, I left her a message, I sent her the video, if anybody sees her out there, let her know she won, 
I need her address. So, um, okay, so then you just blend the colors. Sorry, I was really kind of talking. You just blend the colors, blend the ginger soft into the cinders, and the cinders into the teas and teal, and you get that soft, nice blend, and it's just on the lid. Okay? Let me check my time. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, then I took Ghost Mist from Pure Lux, and I wet a small brush. I originally on this side I used a mixing medium and it was too wet. So and I think I made this too wet. Now I'm just using a wet wipe and I just wet it. Okay, and dip it in the whatchamacallit. Okay. And then line from the outer corner to halfway. Okay. Okay, now you let that dry. Okay, um, and then I'll do the liner, which is going to be the hip liner. And I'm using this, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, I just bought it. I'm using this one that I rebought, which is the 4650 Spotter Brush Blowing uh, American Painter. Okay, and I'm just holding the eye like I always do. Hope you guys got this. What's he doing? Let's play with my brushes. If you have a lot of product left over on that brush, it's going to make it drag, so kind of wipe it off. I just did this eye. This brush was brand new, and it dried from when I did the eye. And it just really doesn't make it nice. Okay, because I hear the show that's on TV, I know that's almost one o'clock. And I'll try my darndest to get these packages out tomorrow. So I'm going to go get the mailers today. And sorry, get them out by tomorrow. Okay, now I'm gonna waterline. I'll waterline first, and I'll do the, the teal under. I'm having some technical difficulties. My waterline is too wet. I'm gonna have to wait. Small crease brush. Back into the T's and teal. Okay. And I'm going from here. Underneath that silver. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is from a picture. This is not from me. So, uh, one of my subscribers, the one who um, wanted this look. She really didn't want me to say her name. Hmm. But, um... She sent me two links, which I thought was great, because someone could say, I just used my, oh, I need a cute tip. I don't know why I licked my finger, because oh, that doesn't do, one, it doesn't do anything, and two, that's disgusting. But it's my face, please. I know when you see those parents licking their fingers and licking their kids, and you think, ew, I do it. Sorry. To your kid, they came out of you. Oh my god, I have like 30 something seconds left. Okay. Just look at this eye. What I did is like, because my water line is being crazy. I lined the water line. I, you know, I touched up the anything I need to blend or whatever and I just did mascara Xbox on the cheeks oh I wanted to show you the lips because the lips was a nude lip okay I'm using sugar cane from Avon It's 
not my favorite color, obviously. And then on top of that, I'll use Base Sparkle and Nyack. Because it's a nude lip, but. Alright, I'm not too crazy about the lipstick. In fact, I'm so uncrazy, I'm gonna wipe it off. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.